Okay, so yeah, this is the completed look. If you guys like it, then thumbs up this video. If you have any other like video suggestions, let me know. really enjoyed this video but i wanted to do a really quick disclaimer um first off i have this weird sun glare in my face like my lighting was a little bit off but it will be better for the next videos also my camera was turning off towards the end so i'm editing it to the best of my abilities and my background was a little bit off and i hope you guys didn't notice it at first and now you're probably looking at it but it will be better next time so yeah that was my little quick disclaimer and right now i'm just using this nyx um concealer on my eyelids as a primer and don't mind me my choke right there you know that that air spin is like a really loose powder <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and look at the rest to come okay <clears throat> so i'm gonna be taking like this don't laugh at my palette it's kind of messed up so i'm gonna be taking this reddish a kind of cranberry color I don't even know what this palette is called. I got it from the beauty supply store, but it's like really, really good. So I just, I love it. So I'm just gonna take that, and I'm gonna take this blending brush from um, Ruby Kisses, and I love it. I'm gonna go get some more of their brushes. Like this brush is life. So I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be, you know, stingy with how much I put on my eye. Like I'm gonna go for it. Put a lot on my lid. Just because this is like a really bold look that I'm trying to do. So, yeah. I'm going to do the other eye exactly the same. I'm not being stingy with how much I'm putting in there. And I, I really like this palette. This is a Nika K palette, I think. It's like 38 shadows, that's what it's called. And I actually really like the Nika K products uh, in the Beauty Plus store. And I have a lot of them, so I think I'm gonna do like a um, beauty on the budget with just Nika K, like a Nika K beauty. Or I don't know, but I really like her um, line. And as you can see, the shadow is like really, really pigmented. All her shadows that I got are pigmented, and I just love it. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this really dark brown color. It's like really, really chocolate. And I'm gonna start off in the middle. And just um, blend that. And I'm gonna really, really blend it. And if you need to add more of that reddish cranberry color, you can. It just how how you want your um how deep and like um bold you want your look to look. So. So you can see the difference in the eyes. I did this look yesterday and I loved it. I be pro procrastinating on doing videos. I don't know why. But I really do want to do like a whole bunch. Like, like really get out there. With. I don't know, I think that's so nice. But yeah, like I really want to get out there with my videos. So I was like, I cannot forget about this look. So I wanna go ahead and do a video on it. I'm gonna be doing more and more and more. And more. Okay. Cool. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. I just add um well no, that's not it. Well eyeshadow wise, that's it. So now I'm just gonna do my um foundation and stuff. I really don't feel like doing that on camera, so I'll come back to you guys when I do my foundation. Okay guys, so the only thing that I did off camera was put on my foundation. And the foundation I wear is the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. As you can see, like, I pretty much ran out of it. Like, it's pretty much gone, so I have to get some more of that. And, um, yeah, oh, also what I did off camera is, okay, this sun is really about to... I'm really about to post up with it because it's really making me mad. But anyways, um, also what I did was my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Artist Powder. I just used the lightest powder in it. This one, the like lightest, darkest, the darkest, lightest, the lightest, darkest color. 
and I blended my um eyeshadow out at the top more with that. And now what I'm gonna do is the rest of my face. Disclaimer, I lost my beauty blender somewhere. <coughs> Okay, disclaimer, I lost my beauty blender somewhere, so I'm using my, um, I'm gonna be using more shit and stuff to blend my shit. Almost cussed. I don't wanna be cussing on my, uh, channel, but to blend my stuff out. But, uh, I'm gonna be using the Pro Conceal, the LA Girls Pro, Pro Conceal High Definition, Conceal in the color, um, yellow. It says it's a yellow corrector, but I'm, like, white as thick. Like, I'm real, real light-skinned, so I like to use the yellow concealer to highlight. And I'm only gonna be using like a little, like a little highlight. I'm not doing too much. So I'm just gonna put it like this. And when I highlight, I really just be, you know, doing what I gotta do. It's no certain way that I highlight. I don't do like extra stuff. I just do the regular chin, under eyes, nose, little cupid bow. And we did. So usually when I um when I'm blending out my highlight, I would use the um I would use my beauty blender, <clears throat> a damp beauty blender. But since I cannot find it, I'm gonna um use my brush and just blend it out. And when you're using a brush, you might have to like do more. I never really use the brush to blend out my um highlight. I only used the brush one time, and that was on my twin. Um. Cause I had lost my beauty blender when I was uh, trying to do her like, but I mean I don't know where it could have went, but um yeah I never really just used a brush. I said this video was gonna be like a um makeup tutorial slash a get to know me, but I don't really know what to talk about like of myself. I mean like I have a one year old daughter. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to do one of those videos and it's like being a teen mom. That's so like cliche. It sounds so weird, but like yeah, I want to do one of those type of videos too. If somebody would want to see that, let me know. I'm probably gonna get like nobody to say they want to see that because I don't really have like a fan base or nothing. I mean, like when you just start, you really don't have a fan base. I really just have my friends that look at this video and like people that I know. Yeah. But if y'all wanna see, you know, let, uh, no, let it be no. Nah, y'all already know. Most of the people that are watching my video, they already know. Not me, my baby, so they probably don't know. Oh my! God. Dude, Come on now, fam. Look, well, I'm gonna be using my Ruby Kisses Set and Forget Setting Powder, 16 Hour Flawless Rub Proof Wear HD Powder in the color Banana ironic but in the color banana and i'm just gonna get like a regular brush like just any old dusting brush i can use to um put that on i'm not gonna be um like doing the whole baking with this i don't really like baking with this powder for some reason i just don't like the after look that it gives me i at first i was baking with it but i really do not like the way it looks at the end so I don't even bake with it no more. I just set my highlight with it. So the rest of my face. You know, you know. Okay. Now <clears throat> for contour, I'm gonna be using this um Ruby Kisses. That's crazy. I never noticed how much Ruby Kisses I, stuff I got, really. But I'm gonna be using this Ruby Kisses 3D contour artist powder. And I'm gonna actually use two colors. So this is gonna be the first color that I use. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be using this stupid old big old brush that I don't even like. I cannot find my, my go-to powder brush that I use. But I cannot find it nowhere. I don't know where none of my stuff went. It's crazy. Long story. I'm not gonna get into that. But I'm just gonna use this color first. And I'm just gonna put it in my cheekbones. I used to um I do, um, I cream contour and highlights most of the times, but lately I've been doing, like, powder. I don't know why, but I have. I think because I got this palette, it's going to make me just want to do powder on me. But now I'm going to use this color. It's, like, one of the darkest colors. I like a really defined and dark contour.
I just really do like a real dark contour for some reason. I like the, the look it gives me. So I, my camera batteries have said battery exhausted when I was going, when I was still doing this. That's why I hate this freaking camera. It always says battery exhaustion when I put new batteries in it every single time. But anyways, I was saying I didn't want to go on my baby hairs too much. That's why I wasn't really putting none on my forehead, putting no product on my forehead that much. And I'm just going to take this dark color and just put it like um, under here. No. And then, <clears throat> if you see me going fast, because I don't want this thing to say battery exhaustion again. Anyways, I'm going to take that dark color again and take this like really fluffy eyeshadow brush and just do my um, nose contour. It's very self-explainable. Is it self-explainable or self-explainable? I don't even know. It's like one of those words you know but don't know. Really. I don't want it too much. Okay, yeah. Whoa, what's going on? Okay, when I was off camera, I just added some um black eyeliner in. I'm smudged the bottom of brown. But now I'm gonna be doing my blush because my camera had turned off again. But I'm just gonna be mixing these two. And there's no specific way I do blush. I just put it on top of my um console. Broke that and then I smile. My lips a little crusty. I couldn't smile, yo. Okay. Now it's highlight. Um, my highlight this is this um what's it called? Uh, Revolution makeup from I got it from Ulta, and I like the white color the best. But most of the time I can't even get the only white. I be getting like all the other colors. But my highlight, I just be going in, like literally just be. Going in. I hate that. I like really hate that. That sun. Ooh. But yeah, like I said, my highlight, I be going in. Take my finger, put it on my nose tip, and then I put it right here. Ooh, that was a little off there. Click it. It's okay though. Put it right there. I'm going to take all the colors and see how it looks. I never really just did it with all the colors. I think I did it one time and I didn't like it. It looked it like, because it has browns with it too, and it looks like dirty looking. And I am very, very picky. I'm a very, very, very picky person. Now I'm just going to take this angle brush that I got and take my white, the white color highlight and put it right there. Like that. Like that. And then I usually put a highlight in my inner corner, but since this is like a really bold look that I'm really trying to like really, really be bold with. I'm gonna take this little old brush that I got and I'm gonna take this um silvery white color. It's good to put water on this time, but I don't have any water right now. So I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner without the water. But if you do have water, it's good to put water because it makes it look really cute. Okay guys, so while my camera is tripping, I decided to um put my eyelashes on and start on my lips. So I'm just using any regular old um brown lip liner. My lips is like really crispy right now. I don't know why. But anyways, I'm going to put a brown. I'm going to mix two colors together, brown and red, just because I need um, a maroon looking color. So, and yeah, I am using one matte and one uh, uh, cream. This lipstick, I do not treat my lipsticks like this. It's just this. What is this? Ruby Kisses. Once again, you know. But this one, this lipstick, the top don't stay on. It comes off all the time. And it's not just mine. My best friend does it too. So, that's how I know it's this lipstick. It's not me being irresponsible or nothing like that. You know, it's going to blend that in because it is like really, really matte. So, it's like really, really dry. Like, this is really, really dry. So, I mean, you could just do a brown lip if you want. That's cute. But, I want like a maroon color, so... I'm mixing two colors together. And actually, and yeah, I am really messy when I'm putting it on. Actually, um, even if you just want a dark red, you can do that. But I mean, like, what is maroon? Dark red, right? Or is it just me that thinks that? I don't know. It probably is just me, but... But yeah, just keep mixing until you get the desired color. It looks really messy, right? I'm not trying to do it like that. It's just 
No trouble me. Okay. Clean it up on the sides. Okay. Ew, my piercing. I'll clean it later. Don't look too bad. Is it? Mm, now I'm gonna put it on, um, get my highlight again. I'm just put it at the top. Put the X. I always do this with any lipstick. I just like the look it gives me. So, yeah, this is basically the complete look. If you have any setting spray or anything you want to spray in your face, go ahead and do that. I ran out of mine, so I don't have that. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching and definitely come back to my channel. Bye.